Hi everybody, I'm Noah Schwartz. Welcome into another edition of Blue Nation. It's time once again to recap all of this week's biggest sports headlines, both with the Blue Golds and elsewhere. Let's get started. We kick things off with the Blue Gold football team, who took on number 23rd ranked Albion College on Saturday. The Blue Golds certainly had their work cut out for them, but they made a strong showing as Eau Claire took a 14-7 lead into the half. Unfortunately, Albion scored on back-to-back -back possessions to start off the third quarter, and the Blue Golds wouldn't be able to catch up, dropping this one by a score of 28-20 and falling to a record of 1-2. Despite the loss, senior wide receiver Nick Kudik was named as one of the WIAC Athletes of the Week as he tallied, tallied nine catches for 96 yards and two touchdowns. Next week, the Blue Golds will open up WIAC play on the road at UW-Stout, for this year's edition of the War on 94 rivalry game. Meanwhile, in the other kind of football, the undefeated Blue Gold men's soccer team continued their winning ways on Sunday against Loris. An early goal on a penalty kick from leading scorer Nathan Donovan was all the Blue Golds needed as they ran away with a 1-0 win, their 12th straight to start the season. They'll look to keep the streak alive tomorrow night at home when they host Lawrence University. The Blue Gold women's soccer team came out firing on Thursday as senior forward Megan Hansen found the back of the net less than three minutes into their matchup against Bethel University. Another score and a strong defensive performance earned the Blue Golds the 2-0 victory. Senior defender Kiki Kuso earned the WIAC Player of the Week honors for her role in the shutout, which brought the team's record to 4-3-1 on the season. The Blue Golds will be back in action tomorrow as they host Concordia Moorhead. And the Blue Golds women's tennis team was also in action this week as they competed at the ITA Regionals in St. Peter, Minnesota. In doubles play, junior Claire Palin and sophomore Samantha Fuchs placed second, which was good enough to earn them WIAC Athlete of the Week honors and a trip to the ITA National Championship next month. Palin, Fuchs, and the rest of the team will be back in competition on Friday at Winona State.